out here <laughs> raising the clothes <laughs> that the current economic crisis exacerbated by the pandemic has been immiserating and in far too many cases deadly for working class and poor women. Working class women have suffered and died as frontline workers, first responders, essential workers, and primary care teams. over 50 million workers lost their jobs. Not because there were no jobs, but because the U.S. government had no solution to this crisis. These job losses hit working class women particularly hard. Twice as many women are being forced out of the workforce and back into the home as men. The federal and state governments could have prioritized job growth in sectors that are not only socially necessary, like education, health care, and elder care, but also sectors that employ women and oppress people in high numbers. Instead, federal relief packages lined the pocket of billionaires. Now, as the U.S. beats the drums of war against Russia and China, as it continues to fill detention centers with migrant families, as it increases funding to police departments rather than